Keeping an organized workspace is often a challenge due to the number of things and documents moving around. While decluttering is an important first step of the process, without a proper system, it is very easy for our workspace to get back to its messy state. This can cause a lot of frustration, especially when trying to find something that we know existed somewhere. However, just like every other area in the house, understanding our workflow and having a system in place will make it easy to keep the home office organized. This video is part 3 of my home office series, where I'll be going through the process of organizing and a few storage solutions. The first step is to list down all the things you typically do on your desk or office. Consider what type of work needs to be done, what do you do every day or every week, and what equipment or tools that you use most often. Taking notes of these will help you prioritize and determine the setup you need. I work a regular 9 to 5 job, write, shoot and edit videos, and design spaces. These are the primary function of my home office, so everything is built to help me achieve that. Next is getting a fresh start. While I am fortunate to have an empty room to start with, the same can be achieved just by decluttering your existing workspace. Earlier this year, I organized my workspace by doing exactly this. Take out everything you have and get rid or donate everything you no longer need. I highly recommend reading this book from Remodelista to get some inspiration on what to declutter and smart storage solutions all over the house. Once you've pared down, take note of the things you have and start planning. I like to start this step by listing all the things I need frequent access to and group similar items together. This way, it will be easy to figure out and browse for different storage needs. Try to be as detailed as possible to ensure that every single item will have its own designated place. Typically, what you want to do is compartmentalize in order to have each group of items separate from the other and consider using different storage options for different needs. In my office, I use a valet tray to store my everyday carry such as my phone and wallet, an under desk drawer for my hard drive and peripherals, a small basket to store extra cables, an open drawer as a charging station to charge my devices, shelving unit to store books, a pick bin in two different sizes, one for mail and another for stationeries, a file to store documents, inside a cupboard to keep things out of sight, a paper tray for something more accessible and projects I'm working on, modular organizers inside a drawer to keep smaller things in check and out of sight, and a hook to hang my camera back. I also got this junk drawer from MateSmart to keep extra stationeries, cables, and supplies. There are plenty of options out there to choose from, so take the time to measure your space and find those that work for your needs. If you have limited space, think vertically and use the space above you by adding a wall shelving, or utilize the space under the desk for extra storage. Alternatively, a pegboard is a good option for extra storage on the wall. Before moving on to the organization part of the video, I would like to briefly thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. Whether you're a small business, creator, or simply looking to build an online presence, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to create professionally designed website. Between creating content and a full-time job, it has been a challenge for me to find the time to build a new website. With Squarespace, this process has been completely effortless. I managed to build a draft of my homepage in under 15 minutes. There are also many useful tools, from blogging to analytics and so much more. If you're anything like me, short of time but looking to build a website, I highly recommend you go check them out. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Moving on to one of my favorite parts, organizing. Once you've taken the time to do the earlier steps, 
organizing became a breeze. It is okay if something didn't feel right when you start utilizing the new space, as you can always adjust where needed. Just make sure you have a place for every single item, as things can easily pile up into a big mess when stored randomly. Without a clear organizational scheme, the same exact things in my drawer can look extremely cluttered. After a few adjustments, slowly, you'll no longer have to think where something belongs, or where to put it back at the end of each workday. It is easily there when you need it, and is easily stored away when you're done. It became effortless. This is when you know that you have the right system in place. Once the system is in place, the final step is to build up a simple habit to maintain the space. The first and most important is to put things back to where it belongs after each use. This step alone will ensure that you'll never lose an item and have a clutter-free workspace with minimal effort. At the end of each workday, make a small effort to tidy up things that don't belong on the desk, such as a coffee mug or notes that you no longer need. Tuck the chair and do a quick scan to see if there's anything else out of place. Every few days, I'll take around 5 minutes to do a quick cleanup of the office. Some light dusting and occasionally a quick wipe. I'll also do a quick vacuum, which typically takes around 2 to 3 minutes, to clean hard to reach parts as the robot does most of the job. While my office still gets messy from time to time, especially when working on big projects, having a system in place and maintaining the simple habits made everything so much easier. Waking up to a clean and organized space allows me to begin my day in the right tone instead of feeling overwhelmed. It's been a massive boost to my mental health, especially now that we are in week 9 of lockdown in Sydney. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.